people take control of your mind, my friends. I mean, every day you got to stand guard at the door of your mind. My friend and teacher Jim Rohn used to say, you know, if your worst enemy drops sugar in your coffee, what happens? And I'd say, nothing. You got sweet coffee. And then he used to say, what if your best friend, what if your lover, what if your mom, your dad, what if your dearest, closest family member drops one drop of strychnine in your coffee by accident? So what happens? I said, are you dead? And he goes, well, listen. He said, life is both sugar and strychnine, so watch your coffee. In other words, watch your mind. Be a leader. Most people let their fear take control of them. And this whole coronavirus thing, I thank God in Australia, it's not out of control in the mindset like it is in the mindset of other parts of the world. But 600,000 people die a year of the flu all around the world. 600,000 every year, 600 to 650,000. So any death is painful. Any death is not something you want. But if you're taking care of yourself and you're healthy, all the experts say there's nothing to worry about. People get the virus and don't even know that they have it. They don't have any symptoms. 99.7% of anybody under the age of 50 um, often doesn't know they have it or they have very few symptoms and they certainly don't die. And so um, in the place of fear, I'd educate yourself. And so one of the things we're committed to doing, we've been working with a lot of medical doctors from Harvard and from around the world who are worried that we're scaring the hell out of people. And you know, I know that you know, fear suppresses the immune system. So there's no good in that. So please be the leader and don't let people overcome you with the fear. If you go on the web, you'll get overwhelmed. If you just watch the news, you need to remember the news is great. They're not bad people, but the news is a business and its number one job is not to inform you, it's to startle you. If they inform you, you don't pay attention. There's too much competition, but if they startle you, you'll click on the link or you watch the TV set. And so educate yourself. Don't let yourself react. Don't let yourself live in fear. Fear's not going to help you make the right decision. And when you come to the seminar, if you've not been it before, we're going to help you turn that to the next level. So just know that we're keeping an eye on what's happening. We're obviously going to make sure everyone is safe and supported and we go above and beyond anything that's being suggested in those areas and taking appropriate precautions. But also don't want you to have to live in fear and also want you to know that we're here to serve you and take things to the next level. So thanks for your time. Thanks for listening in. I look forward to seeing and serving you soon. Till then, live strong and live with passion and God bless you.